Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and in this video we will see how to install Angular in, in our system and we will try to create Angular project. You need to come to angular.dev and if you see Angular version 18 is now available. Okay, so to install this Angular, so first you need to come the documentation and here if you see installation tab and scroll down, so here prerequisites are we need to install the node.js, just you need to click on this one and it will show which version of node is required so if you want to install angular 18 then we need node.js 18.19 and above version so first we need to open the node.js then we need to download this one i have downloaded already this file uh, first we need to install this node.js so i have downloaded this file see node.js v20 so i just double click this package and I'm installing this Node.js. Once this Node.js installation is completed, then again we'll continue with this Angular installation steps. Okay. So now we we'll install this Node.js and another one is Visual Studio Code. We need to download. So for that one, we need to go to the Visual Studio Code and here we need to download the Visual Studio. So already I have downloaded. So you need to download Visual Studio Code from here. This is ID. So in this ID, we need to write all of our angular code so once these two is completed then we need to use this command to run in our system so it will install this angular globally so first uh, we'll complete this node.js till node.js installation is uh, going on okay. node.js installation is completed just you can check the version so node iphone iphone version so now we can see node version is 20 is installed in my system okay now we'll try to install the angular so i will install this angular globally in my system okay i'll again go to the command prompt and if you see this documentation this is the command we need to copy and we need to paste in the cmd okay so now it will start installing this angular so current version is angular 18 if you want to use angular 18 in your system you need to install node version above 18 so now angular installation is done so now we need to create the project you can copy so ng new command we need to use for the ng new so i will create first so it will create project name as a first so it is asking what what is the css file you need to use we need to use scss or css so here i am going with css only so i am selecting css i am entering so another one it is asking static set gen generation server side rendering so as of now, I am not concentrating on the server side rendering. So I, I have mentioned no and continued. So again, it is starting installing this all the packages. So still these packages are installing. So if you see, first is my project name. Okay. So I have installed already VS Code. So once this setup is done, we'll open this code in VS Code and we'll try to run this application so now package is installed successful if you see here here is my angular project this is first project and also it is downloaded all the required node models okay so now what we need to do we need to open this one the vs code for that one what we need to do we can just first navigate to this first folder cd first then we need to use code space dot so it will open this vs code so here is my vs code so if you see this application so here is my angular application so if you see this src so src is having one app component so we'll get one app component at the time of creating new project so if you see app.router is there but here if you see app module is not there because in the latest version 
app module will not available in the project so we need to add all the imports in app component itself okay so now we'll try to run this application to run this application you can use I will show you what is the commands so now package installed successfully then we need to go to the inside this uh, project and we need to use npm start okay so already I'm in inside the project only so I will use npm start so by default port number it will choose 4200 so see first time it is building this application so ng sub command it is using right so you can use npm start or ng serve directly now if you see this application is up and running at port number 4200 you can go to the browser and you can search http colon localhost 4200 you can enter this So now we so now if you see application is up and running so like this we need to install the angular and we need to create your first project and we need to start using npm start so here is the documentation for this okay so i hope this video is helpful for you please like share and subscribe my channel for more content